I would be really upset with myself um, if I never got one of these because I don't know really where I'd be. No cops? No cops. Cool. Good evening, squids. It is a brisk 60 something degrees. This is like one of the first nice days. Not one of the first, but it hasn't been this nice in a minute here. I'm just gonna go take some pictures. We got some new decals coming out um, that we put on the bike, so wanna get some good footage for that. So I had a friend of mine ask me a question who's a little bit younger than me. Um, he's not 18 yet, he's still living with his parents and all that. And he really wants to get a bike. And he's trying to convince his parents because of course his mom is really not a big fan of the idea and I definitely get that, I know a lot of people get that. Um, and I mean, it's, a, it's certainly a valid concern. You know, you're you're far less, you know, safe on a bike. But I think there were a number of conversations and things that I did with like my parents when I was learning to ride, because I didn't grow up on dirt bikes or anything, that um, kind of made my parents a little bit more cool with it. I think before you make that decision, like I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. It's it's such a fun escape from all the other shit in life that kinda you will, you know, get you down. And for me it's like been my life you know since I since I started riding like it it hasn't gone away I don't know if it ever will and I've gotten to meet some amazing people through doing this and being in this community and it's it's so worth it if you're willing to accept like the consequences that come with it because there certainly are and people like to pretend that there aren't um, you don't have seat belts, dude. Like, I, I, I mean, I'll put up some statistics and say, shit, I don't have any off the top of my head, but we can certainly talk about it. I mean, you're so, you're so much more susceptible to any kind of damage or any kind of fuck up because your your margin of error is so much smaller. So I think when you're learning to ride, especially, you need to. Or when you want to learn how to ride, you want to, you know, communicate that with your family or whoever, like, whoever would be, you know, paying for it and kind of facilitating the whole thing or would be allowing you to do it in the first place. You need to be respectful and, of course, like, know that they're your parents. They love you. They care about you. Um, and they don't want to see you get run over. They don't want to see you get killed. Um, I mean, I don't have kids or nothing, but when I do, I I know that I'm gonna raise my kids on bikes for sure. Because there's a lot of lessons that I've had to learn and have still yet to learn um, that really could have been avoided. Ooh, hello, officer. He turning left. He's going straight. All right. I think having that discussion and just being humble about it, like remove your ego from it a little bit, will really help. And it's not going to be like a one discussion type of thing. You know, if you're like 15 years old, 
maybe you, you don't even have your fucking license yet so you know humble yourself and maybe try to like come up with different compromises maybe I know my dad was certainly more interested in seeing me ride on dirt than on streets but that wasn't really the journey I wanted to go and here I am so maybe your parents are cool with you getting like a little 254 stroke or something but they're not cool with um, you know getting you a leader bike which is certainly smart on their part I do think the type of riding you do does have some bearing on it Super Moto Blow oh that, no that's an Enduro I think the type of riding you do has a pretty big bearing on it too if you want to be a fast boy and you want to get on a 600 you know your R6 or your Fireblade or your R1 whatever like they're squid missiles and they're fun they're squid missiles if you don't know what the fuck you're doing so like you gotta build up to that stuff you know I, I see a lot of videos especially when I was kind of learning or, or getting into bikes trying to figure out oh what's you know what's my first bike gonna be where people are like yeah you can you know you can definitely manage to get a, to learn how to ride on a leader bike and you absolutely can but it's certainly not a good idea or my turn I'm turning here um, for a lot of reasons I think if you jump onto like your dream bike from the get-go um, you don't have anything to like build up to it kind of demystifies it immediately and it you know might kind of ruin the fun for you in that aspect oh this shit's gonna look so sick So if you can accept the fact that like it's not going to be an overnight thing where all of a sudden you just you say one thing to your family, your mom, your dad, whoever, and immediately get a bike, like it ain't going to happen. But if you show that you're, you know, you're about it and you're persistent about this thing that you want to get into, then it's, you know, it's certainly possible. And I think you might get to a point too where... this guy doing you might just get to a point too where like it doesn't really matter you're gonna do what you're gonna do anyways Ooh, this is dope <laughs> hope that guy's all right See, how do I want to set this shit up? Yeah, so we got the squid sh shit sticker. Keep going. A lot of these other quote stickers and shit. So, these are all dropping tonight. So go cop one. How close do I want the butt? I think I want it leaned up against the... Against the shit. Please don't fall. Look at that. That's pretty. I wonder what was in there. Huh. I think I'm going to use the 50. So the wide. Yeah, I'm using the 50. 50 would be way better for this. Okay, I'm going to turn this back on when I'm done with these pictures. So, we will continue this discussion in a minute. That took a little bit longer than I was planning on, but... 
we got some dope pictures though so well i don't know we'll see we'll see if they're dope or not when i get back that dude is still pacing around i'm kind of worried about him but i'm also kind of sketched out um so what was i saying you want to convince your parents to let you get one of these have long conversations with them and like be humble about it remove your ego don't get angry don't get don't get discouraged like at the end of the day once you turn 18 you do whatever the fuck you want to do that's up to you but um if you show your family like look you're really about this you want to try this um maybe they'll support you maybe they won't be pretty cool if they do but if they don't like be your own person um and you got to be able to weigh the pros and cons you know um you can't ride a bike like as your only vehicle it's a toy you know that's first and foremost and then you know even when you do have a bike it's like what kind of riding do you want to do do you want to ride dirt do you want to ride you know fast on a fucking highway do you want to stunt do you want to do whatever like you know if you can kind of identify that and you'll you'll figure it out you'll progress you'll try a bunch of different shit out um and you know who knows maybe you end up riding for a little while and you find out it's not for you after you have a couple close calls or even if you don't have any couple close calls you're just like i'm not really into this cool but i mean i would be upset with myself if i took what my parents said or what my family said or my friends said when i said that i wanted to do this if i took that to heart i would be really upset with myself um if i never got one of these because i don't know really where i'd be um and it's maybe a little bit over dramatic to phrase it like that but you can't let your um let the people around you dictate the things that you really truly want to do in life so as far as that goes i mean i don't know i wasn't really gonna go super deep into this topic but i didn't really know what to talk about and i wanted to make a video while i was doing this so who knows this is uh i guess the release video for these stickers so squiddysense.com go cop some um dropping a, a handful of new quotes some packs for the quotes some more logo designs all that fun shit if you made it this far in the video you should probably subscribe or like it or do whatever i don't really care but you'll probably like the shit that i have out um follow my instagram i post photography and reels almost daily so you always get new content always get fun stuff coming out of there but yeah um thanks for watching i guess i don't know i don't really know how to do this i haven't done a fucking youtube video like ever so shall we pop a wheelie for the crazy man i think we shall wait do i have all my shit i do have all my shit crazy man is rude he's probably not crazy he, i don't know maybe he's just waiting for his fucking bus oh man i should have taken some down here this is sick all right squid this has been real i'm out of here